Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepburg episode 12. In episode 11 we expanded out the uh, the Rancy and Nom Nom Amzeals area right down here preparing for a long expansion. Unfortunately this side's going to be a, a single road which I was really hoping to get two roads on. Um, we can run a second road up here which we will be doing because quite frankly I don't want to have just the one road. But I don't want to build down here too far because I want to make sure we have access for a train track. So we'll be building that road up there. I'm um, bringing maybe that road out here to get around here. That's, then that'll do fine. Then up here we'll connect these two at the end with a, a square off connection point. But that's that's for later because right now we don't have an industrial demand. We have a residential demand and we need to get nearly a thousand people in to be able to buy the next area. So we're going to build a small residential area just in this spot here. And then when we get the expansion ability we're buying this plot of land here for more residential and some commercial. I want to have commercial here. But we're not going to be able to do that because we do need indeed to get this next piece up and running. So build trees with rows with trees because we're on that part of the ring. Expand that grid out now all the way out here to the end of this. Pop it to there for now. There we go. We have a starting point. This will be our central road going that way. Mm, it won't be that big, a, that busy a road because it's not going to be. Well, it's not going to be that busy a road generally. How's oh, that water by the way? It was it was borderline before and we built some stuff. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is going to be an expansion. So if we then go build the road with that type, we should be okay just to build out and across and out and yeah, we get the idea. I think we should be building diagonally at some point here though to work with that tree line. If we can, then we can expand out that. Okay, so let's start it at the very end here. If we want to go that way so we don't create any dips there. And we want to start within the city limits as well. We want to be here now. I want to be about 140 degrees if possible. So can you go and bugger off? And 140 degrees would put us there. And that should put us right into the middle of that lake. Sure, why not? Um, if we start it here, let's set you further back. That's fine. And 140 degrees seems to be about what we've been using so far anyway. Uh, so that would put you there. One. 40, we'll put you there. That snags the river, but we can always raise the water level if we need to. That is perfect. Okay, so we're here, we're going to take you up. One full notch that way. For a moment, and then there we go. There's nothing we can do over here. So what we're going to do back here is when we get this, this is going to be a busy piece of road, unfortunately. So I'm going to make this have a nice big gap before we do it. Also, it gives us a chance to get away from that motorway for noise reasons, but you go there to there. Kill that off, bring that across so it lines up. And there you connect it. You go out another one, come down. And can you go out another one? You can go out one more, but I don't want to go any more than that due to noise concerns. Boom, boom. And you can go more, but there's going to be nothing you can connect to there. That is fine at this moment in time. Uh, we could connect you into that, but uh, let's just have you out there for a minute. And you've got one more notch worth. As long as we don't build on that side of it, we should be okay for noise. Right. That being said, uh, you... <coughs> Every two, we build a road, so one's going to be there. One will be... Damn you, for being too close to each other. Uh, I don't want to do that diagonal one. It just seems weird to do that. Like, we did it here, right? We always, we always ignore that corner piece. So let's do it over here. Uh, you can actually go out one more, but I don't want to take it out and bring it in there. It makes that junction too close. I want this road to be a priority clear road. So here we'll start here. So you go two notches up. Boom. Boom. Here two notches will put you there. Boom. And then you can't go to that one so you screw yourself. Then over here it's the same situation. So that. And then you just have to not have anything. Is that okay with you? Good. Um, well, okay, no. Uh, put you there. You can't really go out too far, but you can go to there and then out to that. And then that one could go straight to there. It just needs to go up there a bit more. Okay, get rid of that. Take that one there. It's close so we can get to that junction there without going too far in. There to there. You can then come down here. You're a bit short of the four, but you'll be fine for covering that here. We'll just have this one just to uh, help it out a bit. And uh, no, you can do it out. Okay, then over here, we connect these as far as we can. 
Uh, if, you go out, if you can go out two, you can go out two. If you can't go out two, you have to wait till next time. Boop, and then you will come down and you just can't make that final jump, unfortunately. But we can take it down there and utilize it as a housing space. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay, water pipe. Water pipe, water pipe, water, 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 water pipe, 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 water pipe, pipe. There we go, and then you can go that way. If I put you on there, would you know you wouldn't go for it all anyway? So up there you go, there you go. Uh, this one will come down this road uh, to your junction point, which is there, and then down that road, which is to there. And then you can cut across there and be connected. And then you, you will go right up there. Right down to your junction point there and into there. So we're making. I do like having this little gritty next uh, nature of the uh, stuff. I have never built with gritty stuff before. And you can continue on up there because you need to fill that path. There we go. That's the water supplied. Now I'm not going to have anything here. That becomes a problem for power generation. Uh, so we need to start figuring where we need power across that gap. <coughs> and don't want to put any wind turbines. We're going to put a power cable, but it's just a bit tacky. Um, what a, we could put a water tower down right there it would act as a power barrier but would it be able to transmit the power that far i have to go there if i put one there it doesn't it just doesn't have the range on it unfortunately it would have been nice but no okay uh how about some of these emergency vehicles oh how about uh what's our healthcare like uh average health 71 percent there's a hospital right there so sort of down there hospital there we don't have anything for this side. The hospital could be useful. Uh, fire department. We yeah we don't we really have another fire department now this way, but there's a f tree building there. So fire department now this way might not be a bad idea. And how about police? We just don't really need that much policing. So I think maybe a, a fire department, a small fire department out this way. Uh, just put it on that side road. Yeah, it'll feed better that way. And then a. Uh, a small clinic wouldn't do horrible. Actually, what about we go over here? A sports hall and gymnasium. Ooh, put that there. It is a busy road. That's a problem. We don't want to put something too busy on there. Um, bus wouldn't really work. A subway out this way. No, we we're not going to put a subway stop there. A park. If in doubt, put it in the park. Uh, boom. Please tell me that we connect those two together. It does. We have one little bit to go. Right there. And what can we put in that gap? It won't be a problem for anyone. A statue would be nice. <clears throat> Do we have any statues? Not in there. How about in here? It's a nice little T1 statue. Uh, statue of industry? No. Statue of shopping? No. Uh, you know, let's put in one of these little plazas. Statue of wealth. It can go right there. Boom. There's no reason for it there other than to distribute power. So we have three like permanent buildings here that will help distribute power. We have cars that are going on this road despite the fact they can't go anywhere, which I'm kind of confused by. But okay, you you, you do you. Uh, but while we're waiting for them, let's zone these. This will be a high density section, I think. <coughs> um, not really. I mean, this is low density here, and this is an offshoot, which really it could be a high density little offshoot, couldn't it? Yeah, hide into the loft shoot with a commercial in piece right in the very middle. Ooh, that'd be nice. Okay, all of this going across there is high density housing. All of this, and that one block in the middle there is going to be commercial. Pause for a moment. Uh, I don't want any of these small bits, so I'm going to mix some commercial in with this. So let's just zone these up right now. In fact, you know what? Zone all of that. And we'll dezone the parts that aren't full squares. You're not full square. You don't count as a square. You don't either. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, you're two by twos. I don't like two by twos being for housing. Uh, this middle piece entirely is going to be commercial and nothing else anyway. Uh, you're a very tiny piece there. Uh, you can. Go away. Actually, this shouldn't be zoned at all right now. There we go. Uh, you're not zoned at all yet. You don't get zoned. You're fine. Okay, all of those are fine. So you can start making houses in those spaces, and I'll be happy. And then we drop a nice little commercial bit right in the middle. Ooh, how about instead, actually, about an industry? 
That part there's going to be offices, and then the commercial bit, all the little bits I just zoned off of and said no, we can't have. That'll be quite nice. Okay, give me the, oh, give me the bigger version of that. There we go. Some commercial dotted in this area for people that need it. Nice office area for people that want industry jobs. And all big buildings around. So we have this big high-rise section of the city here. And in the middle of it, a nice little hub of, uh, of uh, offices. Yes, that will do quite nicely. That should be in a hope for being a lot of people as well. Now this road could become quite busy with this this PC, but hopefully it won't. And if it does, well, we can always connect up to the highway over here when we expand this piece out. So we'll find out at that point if it does. Ba, 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 look at that. Building big buildings. Yes. Build them. Build them. Dickery residence. Hickory, hickory, hickory. Dickery, hickory, dickery, 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 dickery. Commercial? Yep, quite corner shops over there. Hopefully they'll get to you with power. Oh, and we have our first office. Solutions Inc. Nice. All right, so that gets uh, that gets all of the little bits done actually. Hopefully the power will reach you over there. It does. The little, the little power bridge. Perfect. And hopefully that'll bring in the fifteen thousand we need in order to build up our next section, which I really want to build soon. Uh, but that'll keep us going for a while. Oh, welcome you out of power. You have a power bridge. Why are you out of power? The power bridge right there. Look, power bridge. There you go, you have power. Why do you not have power? You have weird people sometimes. Ba, ba, da. This is a, a cute little out slot. This is still going to be part of the uh, DJ uh, Grumble Bay because it's connected with that little bridge there. This will be going to be a brand new name for somebody who's been uh, complaining heavily. <laughs> not really been complaining, but it's still. Ch we'll say it has. Uh, <coughs> okay. And you're the Maple Residence, where we get all the syrup from. Now, if we build out this way, a uh, subway, because there's going to be up for here as well. We're going to put a joint a connection there, a connection there, and the next connection. Where would we put your connection? Well, you make sense connecting to here, but there's a station already here, and I won't want to connect off of that too much. Hmm. See, I don't want to bring anything down here. This already has two lines coming into it. These are already going to feed the, the housing area over here. So would you, you can come down, where would you connect to? Would you connect to that station? I mean, it would make sense to that station. It wouldn't get in the way too much. Yeah. We could have to put it in now as well without any, without any major issues. If we just planned ahead and put it up here. Pop it right there. It would be able to service this area quite reasonably. Put it up here, actually. There we go, it's in. Uh, if we could have you come out there. Now, I wanted to come up here. What would be the best way? We'd best keep that track as smooth as possible, off 90 degrees. Wouldn't be too bad an idea. We can have these little like junctions here we've already got. So we could do that at the split. So we can go on, but then let's go up there. You're going to come down here. You could follow the road and then come in at an angle. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Okay. You come down there to the road. Oop. Ah. Behave yourself. To the road. And follow the road down here to about there for now. Then you will come out of there at an angle. Okay, 90 degrees is going to be there. And then 90 itself would be. That's 90 degrees. I'm happy with 90 degrees actually. There we go. Ah, perfect. And for now, we'll just drop you a connection from there into here and return. That is all you're going to do right now. Boop. And then as we get the next piece over there, we'll do that. Good, and that will be... Oops, uh, I need my... Traffic monitoring, subways... Uh, line 7 is going to be... DJ... Inner... N... To... DJ... N... North Spur. So it's DJ in a North. It's actually not North that one, is it? It's that's North there. Uh, so DJ in a. Uh, it's technically North. To DJ in Spur. Yeah, that'll do fine. Uh, that should be there without the bracket on the end. Boom.
There we go. DJ in that. There you go. That will expand out one more notch out here to this section. Maybe, yeah, just one, I think. Just we'll put another subway station somewhere at the top end here. But we can buy the land out that way. Okay, that's actually going to work quite well for us. And that train is in blue. So can we change that to be green? Because this is the DJ area and it, quite frankly it needs to be green. There we go. We'll do the really light green like that. There we go. So we have a dark green, dark green, and a, we could actually, no, you should be a darker green because you're going to match with the other one. So I'll put you like that. There you go. That'll do nicely. And we can turn that off. Boop. And boop. There we go. Now there is a slight problem here now of trains getting stuck. Oh, pooples. That is a problem to worry about. Okay. Um, pause for a moment. Yeah, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? Uh, your bigger problem is that there's not enough distance between that two, them two points. We need to remove that track. And pull it out from here, maybe. <clears throat> but that's going to be quite a pull-off, isn't it? If we did that here, look, we did that. Louis, we can't take that down here, pull it off there, send it under the river. Yeah, we do that. It doesn't look as nice. Um, if we pull it off from here, it would be, it would be, it be a straight line. 45. Yeah, that's perfect. 45 to there. Then go that way to there. And then into there. That should do it and it should solve that connection problem. And hopefully you're still connected to the route. Did you get deleted as a root? No, oh, you're still there. Boop, 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 boop. I can't see you. Uh, you apparently have one stop. So you have two stops. That stop there. That's the train. There's only there we go. Stop number one is there. Stop number two is there. It's gonna have to reroute itself, which it already is starting to do. Come on, reroute yourself. That train needs to go away. Uh, can I get that train? Ah. Leave the train, leave the ground view. Uh, you. Train. Did the whole, the whole train go away? Do I have to let you one carriage at a time? That's going to be quite frustrating. Uh, go away to Metro. There we go, that's the end one. Right, so that should solve your condition problem here. Yep, you're no longer congested there. And this one hopefully has a train coming out. That's got a dip in it, but that's just because of the bay. So don't worry about it. It's fine. In it comes. <coughs> Now, oop, auto save just to be with me. So you go there, you come in, you will slow down, but they keep going. Good. You move up here. You come to a stop. That train unloads its passengers and gets moving again. There we go. You move in. Drop off your passengers. That train comes in and waits. They'll synchronize eventually, don't worry about it. And then you leave, then you come in. And then you go that way, you then come in, you take passengers, and then you leave. Go, 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 go. Okay, you're causing all the problems right now. And you go, and you come in, and then that's there. And I might need to have two stations here, I'm not sure yet. Looking at this. Which is not impossible to do, I will point that out. And you can put one station this side of the road, one station that side of the road, like we did further up. It won't be that major an issue. Alright, let's do that because I don't like this and we're 18 minutes, we can, we've can got time. Uh, so we'll put a station, oops, station, <coughs> uh, here. Drift the opposite side of the road. And we have to reboot a bit of traffic, but we can do it without any major issues, as long as we keep it paused. So if you, come down to here. Connect that to there for a minute. It's only a minute, don't worry. There, like that, and then you to there, and we get rid of that line that we created because that's horrible, and we take it from here straight up that road and into you. Right, they're all reconnected again, so let's just let them, they're all fine. So if we go to line mode, if we then say you. 
If you go there, and I want, that, I want the lighter one, you go here. Why are you going that way? There we go. That will route that way, and then we can take you. I'm going to straight through to you, and then we have you come up there and down a bit earlier than before. It's not a major issue there, so we can demolish that line in its entirety, and that should have very little effect on it. That train's going to get confused, but it should have a little, very little effect on it. Then you should go in and stop. Good, and that train should come in and stop. And then good, if it does, it does. Perfect. Okay, that's a very little effect there. Here we can demolish that piece of track to get rid of confusion. And we have this little track here which needs resetting now. So we're going to put you up here. Boop. Down to there. Boop. And then back. That's all you do for now. There you go. And again, we're going to have to rename you again. So you are still going to be the DJ N. Oh, DJ Inner Spur. There you go, DJ North Spur. <clears throat> and that will be, that means you're that light. Oh, and you're still blue, aren't you? You need to be green. Uh, you can be green, and you can be that green, because you know you're not connected to anything else, so no one cares. Perfect. Any trains that do come in here that have passengers, they can just run between the two stations, running across the road like that. Perfect. Now you don't currently have any passengers, but you will do. And I like this actually, if we have a through station, we just put another station next to it. And I kind of like where we're doing that. It does maybe get a lot of passengers going across these, potentially. We'll have to deal with that later on with maybe um, footbridges or something. But uh, that's that's working out well for us anyway, generally speaking. Look at that. It is working out well. So I'm happy with the current, current design of our subway network. Uh, I'm not too happy about this jump anymore, but uh, it, it's okay. I just prefer if it wasn't so uh, so tight, but I'm, I'm just I'm still happy with it on average. Hmm. And this area up here is now working okay. And this, oh, passengers! There are passengers up here. Excellent, excellent passengers. Uh, we just need some more people. We've got 500 and something. What we could do actually, if we could put the bus station we've been trying to get hands on for a while. Uh, we actually have a more commercial need now. Well, I did say we want some commercial lights away. Let's rezone one of these areas as a commercial, shall we? Well, actually, if it's going to be a nice big area, we can actually have the outer rooms, which I didn't want to zone before, as commercial. Ooh, commercial. Didn't even see that piece of land down there. Uh, okay, so you're going to come down here to there and go out. And you're going to come out here by a full notch and go that way. Right, you pull back and you come down and across you go there you go that's your bendy piece you can live with that for now you come across here and you will just fit that one because it fits you you come down here you will fit that one because it fits you you can come down one more but that's gonna be a annoying uh, you can go there and i think we can bring you up here yes we can uh, here um bring you down boop boop and that's pretty much all we can do here Water this area, and we can put a uh, bring you, bring you ah down there across that. Bring you out to the water there. You're going to come down here, unfortunately, and just fill that little bit in there. And you need a spur line there. There we go. All watered, and that can all be commercial. And you know what it can be. It's only a small commercial area, right? All of this is commercial normal, and this is going to be high density commercial because it actually fits. Being on the back, away from the houses, the noise shouldn't get to them. So that should help solve the commercial problem. And that subway room right there will mean that the people can get in here relatively easily using the subway network, which connects up there. So it's not as close as I'd like it to be if it's a subway. Actually, what's that subway road like? We could lower it down to here with very little extra effort. Put it on that one there. If I put it over here, it's definitely way back here to work. Ah, that's a shame. 
Although, put it there. You can follow that road and drop into it quite easily, couldn't it? I'd be right in the commercial zone. I'm not sure I wanted the commercial zone. About here would be just a little tip up as it connects in. Over here. Ooh, actually. Pop it there. Bri bridge. Tunnel that there. It's not quite a straight line, but it will get us where we need to be. So there. Um, if we just very quickly put a stupid piece in for this bit, you go there. And then we can then bulldoze that station and that line. And then we build the track there. Like that, so it's a bit of a curve, that's okay. And then we can pause, that would line itself with white itself back up again with no issue. Once the train decides to spawn on it. But there we go, and then straight down there, line recorrects itself, done, problem solved. Alright, there we go. And that would be a lot of sub the traffic is now here. Right in the commercial and by the housing. Perfect. Uh, and we got a spot up there which just needs its, <clears throat> needs its uh, house put on there. There you go. And that should actually solve you out for your commercial need for a while. This this thing should work out quite well, hopefully. Um, a lot of cars coming in now, though. This road is what I said it would do. It would get very busy very quickly. Uh, we could make the road into a little avenue. We have to move these back. But uh, we could do that without any major issues, I think. Yes, let's do that before we end. Pop that there. Pop that there. Pop that there. Upgrade this road to an avenue style road. We have treat on the middle. What's between you two? Uh, large avenue with grass, two lane avenue with directed grass strip in parking spaces. You are a four lane road with decorative trees, avenues, low noise, pollution, spots, medium traffic. Who are you? I've never seen your your the odd one I haven't used before. There we go. Uh, oh, it's the grass strips down the middle, but this one doesn't have that. That's the difference. Uh, okay. You are falling, brother. You are not falling, bro. Well, then why even? Why? Why even? Why? Why? Why even? There we go. Traffic lights on each end. There are, and I don't see a need for them because of the road because of how this road is laid out. So there we go. Uh, and then we put those buildings back where they're supposed to be. So you can go back there. And Pack can go on the outbound road there. And we have a bigger building here. So you go there. There we go. That should hopefully keep the power connected as well. It has done good. And the roads are now able to flow a bit better on this section as well. Wow, there's a lot of people going straight to that already. Nice. Okay, there we go. Our city is up and running. We have a fire station back in place. We have all this commercial which no one's using right now. Generally, the place is looking pretty good. And we're so close to having that 15,000 which we need to get the next piece of housing estate built. So until next time, when we get around to build that, hopefully, <coughs> um, we have a bit of industrial need. So let's just pop over here really quickly and just paint that in before we go. Beep. Bong! There we go. Build it, my friends. Build it. The same low, uh, how the low, low uh, people. That's that shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> we do need to put the subway in over here, though, at some point. That'll be in the next episode. But until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.